Monday started out where Brendan had invited us to London to see a show. He drove us and then we caught the tube into London where we went to Drury Lane to pick up the tickets in Covent Garden and then we ended up in a lovely restaurant called Coats. Apparently it's a chain, I never knew that. I had butternut squash and roasted garlic. By the time I started eating, I was 23 hours into my fast. So I broke it with a glass of wine, and oh, why not? The butternut squash was unfortunately lukewarm and I didn't really enjoy it, although I ate it. Brendan had French onion soup. He says his was rather nice. Pepe had calamari and I wished I'd had that because it had a lovely dip with it as well and it looked rather gorgeous but it was rather more in calories and Laurie had a, uh, I think she had a pate with some bread as well, she said hers was rather nice. Anyway, so I had a minute steak with garlic butter with triple cooked truffle chips, have you heard such a thing? truffle chips cool and then i shared a cheese board with it was a large cheese board for two you must say with pepe and there we go all that was left was a fig we left the cafe and headed to the lovely theater to watch no we didn't see frozen but i absolutely fell in love with this dress we were watching Michael McIntyre's big show being recorded and it was absolutely fabulous. Niall Rogers and Chic took the stage and did gave us some fantastic songs through the years and what he's been doing. And there was the lovely Rylan sat there as you can see. I wanted to film him but I wasn't allowed to really. And the wonderful George Ezra. What a fantastic evening. Oh, it's recording. This is Where am I looking? Am I looking there? This yeah. is Richard's camera. Because mine is downloading. Oh, phone. <laughs> Richard's phone. Run over. Oh, no, hold on. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. So, I got back and Richard told me about yesterday. Are you going to tell him what I did? Yeah, well, I think we need to, really, <laughs> because some people may sort of get the wrong idea that you fast for so many hours and then come home and because you're really really hungry you suddenly overeat and i overeat and what did you do baby i felt sick afterwards you were sick i afterwards. was actually physically sick yeah, yeah because you ate. and why am i smiling because i felt awful yesterday because uh, no, you well, weren't you weren't there and I, I i just come home and i was like Oh, I ain't it for 24 hours, so I'm, I've got my wind. <laughs> You're not blaming me, are you? Because I wasn't there. No, no, no. I, no, no, I was missing you, obviously. But I just I just thought, oh, I'm going to eat, eat, eat. And there was stuff left over from the weekend. So I just thought, I'll eat them sausages. I'll eat them baked potatoes. I'll eat that sweet corn. I'll use them strawberries up. And the next thing I know, I'm like, oh, I feel sick. And you had a cake. Yeah, I had a cake, but yeah. Um, yeah, so it wasn't feeling too good, eating too much. Now, it's all very well me saying you can eat whatever you want, but when you open your window, think about it. What do you want? Why undo your goodness of, yeah. you know, so many hours of fasting, which you're really good at now, um, and then fill it with rubbish that's well, going to make like, you feel I don't think it was rubbish. I just probably over it, and I think, uh, I think obviously... Yeah being sick I've learned a lesson you know and what Richard could have done was to have one small jacket potato with whatever he wanted on it what, another small one a bit it. later and then a couple of hours later or an hour later if he wanted it if he really felt hungry to have it but more likely you'd have had that bit this and that and then you'd have gone I don't fancy it yeah and that's the thing our bodies yeah, are I, telling us that I, we don't fancy it so we don't have it yeah, no, I, I come home from work, I open my window and I just cook loads of food and just ate it all and felt sick and yeah, lesson well learned. But, yeah. And um, I did that at the beginning when I very first started fasting. Yeah, it's not great. I sort of overloaded on food and then ended up on the toilet. And so if you're experiencing that, think about it. You may be eating too much from one sitting. Um, yeah.
well, you've learnt your lesson, baby. So uh, we're going to tell them, are we? <laughs> yeah, we're going to tell them. <laughs> All right, we're telling them. <laughs> All right. All right, ciao. Ciao. Oh, what is it? Good job I had my glasses on. I thought that was alcohol. But I've been sat there in the kitchen. Oh, my lovely bottle. Very nice. <laughs> I just had a hair trim, yes. Um, she didn't wash it today because um, I'm gonna have a shower later on tonight, so I said don't worry about it. So she did a wet cut, um, so I'm highly grateful. I am making a pie for Richard. I probably will have a bit of pie with mashed potato and some vegetables. Um, I'm just doing a very, very quick one. I didn't turn you around. Lots of vegetables, which are, it's a shame I've got my shadow in there. Mushrooms, onions, carrots, and celery. Um, I will put the mince in in a bit. Some tasty bits and pieces to go in it. I'll, I'll show you as I go along. So yeah, so that's what I'm doing with the vegetables. Add the mince, put some other bits and pieces in there, and then fill it with a crusty pie thing, and then shove it in the oven. We're having mashed potato, and we're having some uh, steamed veg to go with it as well and then hopefully go see my mum and dad raspberries, blackberries and uh, a little bit of maple syrup in the middle and a bit of that pie topping that we had this tonight and uh, I'm going to put a little bit of double cream on there and that is for dessert then I should be closing my window. Let's sway, let's sway, let's sway. Fifteen six and quarter sixteen fifteen six and a quarter. I think that's half a pound on but off since yesterday. I didn't show you that, but I'd put on three pounds yesterday, so it said. Um but I don't know why, it's just one of those things and then it's all gone, so it's just half a pound. Yeah, a little weird. So there we go. Oh my goodness me, I've got my gloves on because I'm so cold. But the sun is out. Yippee! A little bit of pie as well that was left over from yesterday. This is what I'm opening my window with. I have been fasting for 21 hours. There we go. I just had some toast as well, but I forgot to show you because I just whooped it down.
off to Brighton for a Gigi Poos. Gigi Poos. Gigi Poos, that's a new one. What are you pointing at me for? My Gigi Poo? We're losing weight, babes. Where's our chins going? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know. My, it might not say yet. During the week, I put on three pounds. You don't well, know. Apparently. How did you feel? I'm not bothered about you it because I know that it's all right. Do you oh, feel sorry, good? darling. Waiting to come out, and I was just standing there talking. Oh dear. Left, right, left, 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 uh, left, 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 left. You feel good, though, don't you? Can you? Why would say left, left, left? Can you just point? Because I'm really no good at left, right, right. left. Yeah, and, and like Lucy, she's got right. No, that's left. Left and L and then R on her thumb. So when she's driving, she knows which way. But I'd still get it wrong because I'd have to look at my hands. So I'd probably crash by the it time reminds I'm me of that I'm Jimmy going. Cricket bloke. Do you remember him? He had L and R on his Wellington boots, but he still had them on the wrong feet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we are planning on having... See, we planned. Planned ahead. Darling. We planned ahead. We had a little bit of something to eat before we left and we're going to have a KFC salad or whatever it is about um, when we stop. So, four o'clock. Yeah, so we're having our windows. My window's been open a little bit longer than Richard's, but we're not we're not planning on eating anything on the way back, so Time is 20 to 3 and we finally got home. We are knackered. But the best thing is we've not eaten anything. When we shut our window, that was it. We both had water and that was it for the whole night. And we've not drunk. We didn't stop for coffee on the way. And I got a little bit of petrol and I said to Richard, do you remember the times when we used to go in and get burgers and crisps not crisps chips and mm. then we'd have mm. and then we'd have um ice cream afterwards it was so knackered you make me hungry now let's <laughs> not talk about food we're gonna have a sleepy tea just talk sleepy... about food make you hungry R rich is gonna have a sleepy black tea and i'm gonna have a decaf coffee before i go to bed yeah my ears are ringing are yours yeah i think it's having that radio on all the whole journey yeah Bloody Christmas, Christmas songs. songs. <laughs> oh, driving home for Christmas. It's the same bloody songs. Why can't somebody... One. I'd love to write one. Yeah, I'm sure you could. Mum's going to... I bet you could write a song. I bet I could. Yeah. Welcome oh. to Factor Help. Get ready for this ride. Check oh, me no. out on Anyway, YouTube. on that Follow note, good guide. night. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Bye. Yeah. Nineteen hours of fasting. Breakfast in bed. It's a late breakfast. Thank you, darling. Well. We made it. We're having a lazy day because we didn't get back until nearly three o'clock this morning. So why not indeed? I'm editing. We've spent most of the day in bed today because we didn't get back till late and we've been editing and doing a bit of social media. I completely forgot to show you what I had um, for lunch after my sort of like late breakfast. I had a tin of parsnip and carrot soup and about an hour after that I had a whole tin of rice pudding and I had a medium sized banana. So it I can't remember how much it comes to, but I've got about 300 calories left. Um, so, yeah, I haven't had any water yet, but I'm going to be drinking some now. And I should be definitely drinking some tonight at my gig. So, I'm going to hopefully dance around a bit as well with a bit of that. <laughs> Dress on that Richard bought me 
um, I'm performing in it a minute. I've just done my Alison Moyet bit and uh, I'm about to go out and do my sort of different set, 80 set. But this lovely lady who's, who's booked me this evening, I look joyful tonight. Um, the lady that's booked me tonight and the guy that's singing now is fantastic. They've laid this on for us. Isn't that amazing? It's so, so kind of her to do that. And of course, Richard and I are fasting. He's eaten on his way here. So we're kind of like taking some sandwiches and we're going to have them tomorrow for sort of like to open our fast with. So, you know, it's absolutely wonderful. So, you know, it's sort of need to do that. Little village, little village hall, and they go and lay that one. Anyway, Rich just made me a cup of coffee. I'm so thirsty. I'm just going to touch up on my makeup before I go back out. See you in a bit. Scale, shall we? I've had about three cups of coffee this morning, so it don't quite help, does it, when you're standing on the scale? But anyway. We should have started the fast, feast, and repeat start program. I have lost just under a stone, so that is 13 pounds and three quarters. I am absolutely gobsmacked. I want to carry on and going to continue with intermittent fasting because I am feeling fantastic. I am listening to my body. My body is telling me what I want, and although I can eat whatever I want. I don't fancy it now, whereas before I'd be like, oh, I'm really hungry, and I just, oh, can I just, just have a bit of that? I'll just open my window a little bit earlier, you know, but this is like, I'm not hungry. And uh, I am absolutely gobsmacked. So, uh, how about that? How are you getting on? Just let me know. I know so many of you have bought Jin Stevens' book, Fast Feast and Repeat, or Fast Feast Repeat. Please let me know how you are getting on. And, uh, oh, I'm hoping you are feeling the same as me. I know some of you have been stuck on the certain weight for quite some time. And since you've been doing this, you've been losing weight. And I really hope it doesn't matter what the scales are saying. As you've seen, I go up and down. Sometimes I'm thinking, well, I, there's no reason why I'm going up. But it's because I've lost fat. I know I feel like I'm shrinking in my clothes. And I feel absolutely wonderful. So onwards and downwards. Let me know how you're getting on. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done already. Give this video a like. Comment down below. Let me know how you're getting on. Come and join us on the Facebook community page as well, the Factor Health community page. And uh, I'll see you in there. See you soon. Love you. Bye. Woohoo! I love you. I love you, baby. Mwah, 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 mwah.